Hi everyone, welcome to Zaxdeck. Today, we have an incredibly valuable topic to discuss, how to recover permanently deleted files for free. Whether it's important documents, precious photos, or crucial work files, losing them can be a nightmare. But don't worry, I've got you covered with some powerful free data recovery software. Let's jump right into it. Some data recovery tools offer free versions, but they have limitations on the amount of data you can recover. Some functionalities may only be available in their paid versions. The tools we are going to look at enable users to search and recover deleted files without limits. The first tool we are going to look at is WinFR GUI. Win File Recovery GUI adds a graphical user interface to Microsoft Windows File Recovery, a command line data recovery tool, making it more accessible to anyone who does not like the command prompt. This software supports two scanning modes, Quick Scan and Deep Scan. Quick Scan is capable of recovering files with intact directory structures and original file names under the NTFS file system. On the other hand, Deep Scan goes a step further, allowing for the recovery of even more files, albeit with potentially lost directory structures and file names. Furthermore, this software boasts a range of features, which you can explore further in detail. You have the ability to recover lost Windows files from SSDs, HDDs, USB memory cards in either Windows 11 or 10. Let us now download and install the tool. This tool is completely free. Users are not required to make any purchases or acquire additional services within the software, regardless of the scanning method employed or the type of files recovered. There are no fees associated with using this software. Just follow the on-screen instructions to install the application. The installation is complete. It even gives you instructions at the end on how to use the application. Using this tool is easy as you just have to select a partition and then select a scanning mode quick scan or deep scan. I have a flash drive with some files in it, mp3 file, images and videos. Let me permanently delete the files and try to recover them. Recovering recently deleted files is generally easier compared to files that were deleted a long time ago due to the way modern operating systems handle file deletion. When you delete a file, the operating system typically marks the space previously occupied by the file as available for new data. Select the drive or partition you want to recover files from. In my case, it is Drive E. Save the files to a different drive and not on the same drive. Select a folder where the recovered files will be stored. In the advanced settings you can choose the types of files you want to recover whether images, documents or videos. There is no no overriding yet. In the immediate aftermath of deletion, the chances of other data overriding this space are minimal. This gives recovery software a higher likelihood of finding and restoring the file. So I will just do a quick scan. This will take some time depending on the size of your partition or drive. The files have been recovered. You can click on View Recovered Files. You can now check if the files are not corrupted and are able to open. It also produces a list of the recovered files. You can also carry out a deep scan. Deep scans are capable of identifying and piecing together fragmented files. When a file is deleted, it may be stored in multiple fragments across the storage medium. A deep scan can find and reconstruct these fragments. Deep scans can recover files with lost directory information. If the directory information associated with a file has been corrupted or lost, a deep scan can bypass this and still recover the file based on its content. In cases where a drive has been formatted, a deep scan is necessary to locate and recover files that may not be immediately visible. 
However, it's important to note that deep scans are more time-consuming compared to quick scans, as they analyze the entire storage medium in detail. Therefore, it's generally recommended to start with a quick scan and only proceed to a deep scan if the initial scan doesn't yield the desired results. Additionally, always ensure you recover files to a different drive to avoid overriding the original data. The deep scan is done and the application has created folders for images, documents, and so on. You can go through the folders and check what has been recovered. The log shows the files that have been recovered. Let us now check the files that were recovered. You should try opening the files to check whether they are able to open or not. If you find that some files were not recovered or were not able to open you can try another free tool. You can use Recuva. Recuva is frequently recognized as free data recovery software. This is accurate, as Recuva provides a fully functional free version that enables users to search for and recover deleted files without any restriction. Unfortunately, only Recuva professional users have access to automatic updates. Those using the free version will be limited to the older version. After the installation you will be presented with a wizard click on next. You can recover all files or choose to recover only certain types of files. I want to recover video files so we'll select video. Next, select the device from which you want to recover files from. You can do a quick scan or a deep scan. If you want a deep scan, tick the box. The scan will depend on how big your drive is to complete, so be patient and let the process complete. The files have been recovered. Select everything and save it to another drive, not the drive where you recovered them from. Check the files and see if you are able to open them. If you find that you are not able to recover all the files you can try using a paid recovery software like EaseUs. This powerful software is known for its comprehensive recovery capabilities and user-friendly interface. EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard comes in both free and paid versions. The free version allows users to recover up to a certain amount of data, while the paid versions offer additional features, unlimited data recovery, and priority customer support. Overall, EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard is a versatile and reliable tool for recovering lost or accidentally deleted files from a wide range of storage devices and data loss scenarios. The recovery process is almost the same on all recovery software. Select the driver location where you want to recover files from then select a location where to save the files. Start by scanning the drive. Sometimes paid recovery software often offers several advantages over their free counterparts. Paid software often employs more sophisticated algorithms and techniques, increasing the likelihood of successful recovery, especially in complex or severe data loss situations. Paid versions usually come with dedicated customer support, which can be crucial if you encounter technical issues or need assistance during the recovery process.
paid software is often updated more frequently, ensuring compatibility with the latest operating systems and technologies, as well as addressing any potential bugs or security vulnerabilities. Paid software often includes supplementary tools like disk cloning, system optimization, and secure deletion features, providing a more comprehensive data management solution. Paid software packages typically come with comprehensive user guides, tutorials, and documentation to help you make the most of the software's capabilities. Isus has 99% recovery rate. I tested all the videos in the folder and they were all opening. Ultimately, the choice between free and paid recovery software depends on your specific needs and the nature of your data loss situation. While free software can be effective for basic recovery tasks, paid software offers a more comprehensive and reliable solution for complex or critical data recovery scenarios. Alright, there you have it. We've covered some powerful free data recovery tools today. Remember, the key to successful recovery is acting fast and using the right software. I hope this video helps you retrieve your precious files. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.